KG5EIU. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware in the new ICOM IC7760. Today's uh, February uh, 25th, 2025, and version 1.10 has been released here out here on this website. And there's been some changes, some really, really cool kind of, I think, exciting changes. Uh, one, you can support bigger uh, SD cards, uh, which 256, you know, I, I'm not sure how much space you really need it on the SD card, but there you go. We now have support for that. Uh, there's a bug that caused the USB IQ out port to stop functioning when a strong signal. Actually, I've hit that with, uh, with that before, so I'm looking forward to that fix. And if you're a lucky owner of an IC PW2, the new amp, it's kind of matched up the 7760, you'll want to upgrade that. Now, there's some information here about um, version 1.10 uh, that you're going to want to review because it's basically an, an addendum to the manual and tells you all the stuff that's changed. There's like 11 different ways to connect to this thing over the Internet. <clears throat> so the big deal here is this supports wireless LAN over the internet connection. This is what everybody wants to do. So we've got uh, some notes here that talks to you, talks to you about um, you know, the procedures here, but after the updating, the firmware is gonna be set uh, with this. And right now I'm gonna go over to the radio and if I hit uh, uh, menu, the hard, the hard menu button, I go to set, and I go to others and I look at information and I look at the version, you can see my radio has uh, main CPU is 1.01 .01, and that's going to get upgraded. The sub CPU gets upgraded. The front CPU, no changes. Uh, the main DSP uh, gets updated. The uh, DSP data does not change. The RF CPU gets updated. The RF DSP program gets updated. RSP data does not. And then the FPGA uh, field programmable gate array, um, that gets updated too. So there's quite a bit in this update. And, you know, 9.9 .9 megabits. So you download the zip. I'm on a Mac here. And after you download the zip, you I get it. You get I get this file, uh, seven uh, seventy seven sixty one ten dot dat file. Uh, after it's unzipped, it's fourteen megabytes here. It's showing on my on my Mac. So I have an SD card here that was formatted in the seventy seven sixty, and that's this card here. And here's the directory structure. So you have the root right, which is the card, you'll see it here, it's listed as no name, the root, and I can put other files at this level, but that's not what the directions say. You've got to put the .dat file inside the IC7760 folder. So we're going to go ahead and drag that over, and we'll let it, co it copies over, and then you can see it, it's at the same level here. So if I Double click this, I can see that it, that file is there. That's the file and that's where it needs to be uh, on this SD card to be updated. So I've already prepped, prepped the card. And, uh, you know, like I said, one last thing to, that you want to look at is this uh, refer to information here for details. That's a PDF that you download. And here are some of the updates uh, that it that it's gone through. Like I said, you can read this. There's uh, 11 connection methods, right? So this is going to allow the controller to connect to the RF deck over the internet. Uh, very, very cool feature. A lot of people are looking for this, but uh, so you can read through this doc and you can see what uh, what's going on here. Uh, there's some new menus and things uh, and some different uh, configurations that you can uh, learn about. There's also some port forwarding, depending on how you want to access this over the internet. And then the other ones are 
uh, USB flash drives and uh, SDXC additional cards. These are the additional capacities. Now you can support anything from two gigs all the way up to 256 gigs. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's new reset procedures that you want to pay attention to. Uh, partial reset. And then all reset for the RF deck. Okay, so enough of that. Let's just uh, get going here with the update. So we'll get out of this menu. I'll start from scratch here. We're going to hit the hard menu button here. We're going to the set menu. And we can go to, it's not a USB flash drive, right? We're on others. So you go to others and you can go to information. Sorry, SD card. What am I doing? So I go to SD card here and I can do a firmware update. And it's going to tell you, it's going to warn you here, uh, updating the firmware has risk and that you must set it back. So if you botch this thing, power goes out, whatever, you could end up having to send it back to ICOM for, okay, so enough of that. I've upgraded a bunch of ICOM radios, never had an issue. But you have to scroll in this window and then it'll ask you, hey, before updating, make a backup file with settings and the memory contents. So do you agree to the above? Yes. Tap yes. Depending on the version, all the settings and memories, yes. So there's my backup data file. Now, I'm using a Mac, so there's these two files out here, one with a dot underscore. Ignore that, because that was on a Mac. You want the second one. Firmware updating takes about two minutes. I'm doing this real time in the video, so we're gonna have a long uh, pregnant pause here probably uh, when, I, uh, when I upgrade this, but do you want to start the upgrading? Yes. Yeah, press and hold that. And so here we go. We're, we're doing the update. It's gonna check the file first. Remember, it's going to go back through and update all of those things that we talked about. Main CPU, sub CPU, the DSP, the RF. And the FPGA. It's like a real fancy chip. Those are hard to make. And, uh, if you miss them up, you got to start from scratch. Oh, there. Like I said, I'm doing this real time. I'm not going to shrink the the video down or or uh, fast forward or anything. So you're going to struggle struggle with me with the update. Uh, Forty some odd seconds left, but. Uh, if we go back to uh, the download here, like I said, I think this is the biggest the biggest deal here. Connection between the RF deck and controller supports via wireless LAN or internet. That means you take the controller and you can remote it across the internet. That's that's going to be huge. And then um, it's going to do some auto buffering, the buffering size I read about here. Of course, we talked about the larger uh, SD cards. Here we go. So when it finishes that FPGA, it's going to just reboot. And there you go. We're back on the air. Let's see if it finds my uh, RF deck. There we go. Now, what's nice about this is that my RF deck, it's on the same LAN segment but it's not plugged in back to back. So it found everything. Let's go, I'll hit the hard menu button here. Let's go to set. Let's go to others. Let's go to information. And uh, let's look at version. So we can validate now our main CPU 110, sub CPU 110, that got updated. Front CPU is 10, we're good. Uh, the main DSP 1.01, .01, we're good. 
the main DSP data 1.0, we're good. We're going to look at the RF CPU 1.10. That's good. That got updated. RF DSP program 1.1, 1.01. We're good there. The last two, the RF data is 1.0 and then the FPGA. So we're good. Our update was successful. And that's it. So we're we're back on the air um, with the latest and greatest firmware. And the IC7760. ICOM makes it super easy to do. And uh, that's all there is to it to upgrade your ICOM 7760 to version 1.10. 73 from KG5 EIU.